Alright gang, today we are covering settings. I like to do this every season because there's always going to be new players every season. So if you are new to this game, this is the video for you. Look, we're going to go ahead and start off with controller settings. Uh, so I play with a scuff. It's PS4 Infinity for you. I use a control freak and elevated joystick on the right stick only. Uh, my button layout is set to tactical. It says flipped because I have flipped my... Uh, triggers to my bumpers so i shoot with the bumpers lethals and tacticals with the uh, triggers which you can do that right here i recommend it if you use a playstation 4 controller it makes the controller so much more fluent a uh, dead zone inputs you want to make this as low as you possibly can for the left stigmen and the right stigmen uh, without having stick drift and with this you can actually test your stick drift um here at the bottom where's it at there we go test stick drift you can see my right stick on the numbers. There's like numbers right here. I'll use my mouse for a second. Look right here where the mouse is going to be. And there's going to be number values when I turn this on. Um, and that's really what you're looking for. The right stick has a little bit of hesitation. You can see it's not crazy. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to leave that at 3-3. Three, three. Uh, if that starts to get progressively worse, I'll put that at 4-4. Four, four, no problem. Uh, aiming horizontal sensitivity is to 6-6. Six, six. You do not need your sensitivity faster than this. Uh, this has been like my go-to since even like with competition for I don't know how long. So 6-6 six, six, and make sure when you set this, uh, you customize it. So you go to custom, set it to 1.0. By default, it'll be 1.20. Uh, that will actually make your sensitivity a half decimal faster. So if it's set to 1.20 on the advanced setting, you go to your sensitivity and put it at six it's actually 6.5 a lot of people complain in this game about it feeling like it's not that fast so go to custom change it to 1.0 and then select the setting you like and that'll make it feel like all the og cards you're used to playing uh sensitivity multiplier all that's set to 1.0 vertical vertical aim axis is all on standard and response curve type is going to be set to dynamic you have three options here uh, you have standard linear and dynamic we rock dynamic that's how we fry everyone says we rock a cronus we rock dynamic aim response curve type and we uh follow my video i made on how to abuse aim assist so if you haven't seen that i highly recommend that as well uh, ads sensitivity multiplier on focus is 0.95 instant ads transition timing speed a uh, custom sensitivity per zoom is 0.93 for low zoom and two to three times uh ads multiplier Four to five anything higher than that's going to be set to 1.0 that should be sniping target aim assist will be on aim assist type is set to default uh and then we don't really mess with the like these motion sensor behaviors we leave that all off uh automatic tax prints on it, this really doesn't need to be on anymore we don't have actual like slide cancel resets but on auto tax sprint, you do move around the map as fast as you possibly can because the second your tax sprint's available, it's gonna hammer it. You don't have to click the stick and you just press it forward. Anytime you see me make a video about a hip fire build though, this setting will be turned off. If you hip fire way more than not, I don't know why you would, uh, you don't need to use this. But in general, ATS needs to be turned on. A slide maintain sprint, this is the most lethal movement setting to keep you like flying around the map like if you watch a TikTok, you're like how do these guys move so fast it's slide maintain sprint so when you slide you come out of it in a full sprint as if you never slid it's absolutely broken i love it it definitely breaks cameras 100 percent a single tap sprints on slide dive behavior we don't dive around here we only slide if you set it to tap to slide rather than like both you know hybrid whatever if you set it to tap to slide you will absolutely slide without any latency. Like there's no, there's no behavior. We, we do not care about diving. Uh, you could also just do slide only. Either way, like we don't need to dive. Like there's no need to dive in this game. It just slows you down way too much compared to the slide with how fast they made the slide. Automatic tack behavior, or automatic parachute uh, behavior is going to be set to off. We wanna get to the ground before everybody else. You wanna pull that chute right before you hit the ground so you can get the gun first win that fight aim down sight behavior is going to be set to hold change zoom activation uh, sprint tax sprint focus uh, equipment behavior hold weapon mount delay is going to be on short prioritize interact on the interact reload behavior uh, apply all on armor plates you can always cancel the animation you don't need to sit there and hold that button 
akimbo behavior independent that means each trigger or bumper i use bumpers it's going to fire the gun independently you don't want those to be to the same one unless you're using like snake shots that's when you want it to be paired but independent uh, for right now and that's it for our controllers graphics i'm just going to kind of scroll through these um this is case by case there's only one setting i want to cover and that's going to be the low latency mode if you have a diesel computer 3080 ti 3090 and up okay anything under that forget about it 3080 ti 3090 and up you want nvidia low uh latency the reflex set to on anything under that 3070s 60s 3080 not ti you want on plus boost okay it's you'll put too much strain on a diesel card by putting on plus boost when they're already working overtime you'll lose frames it's like a really good computer does not need the boost it's already boosted big trust on that uh eco mode is going to be set to efficiency quality we're just going to scroll through these uh none of these really have a big uh effect to me personally because i'm not in this for like the game to look gorgeous i'm in this to absolutely fry and get a bunch of kills so if you need to pause the video on any of these settings, go ahead. I'll scroll right back up. Woo. And then we're going to have the view tab. This is nitty gritty. You need to focus here. Field of view. This is on console and PC. Set that to 120. You want to be able to see as much on the screen as you possibly can. ADS field of view. Set that to affected. Weapon field of view. Set that to wide. It makes your weapon smaller. Uh, the affected FOV in 120 gives you less visual recoil. Your gun physically does not or like it doesn't move as much to the eye like the visual recoil of it like the gun's gonna have the same amount of recoil but if the visual recoil is less it makes the gun look easier to control which means you will hit your shots more often because you are controlling that red dot easier than if it was going all over the place you're holding composure set it to 120 affected that is like as the most crucial setting in this whole video bro 100 percent uh inverted flashbang instead of your screen going white it goes black that helps a ton on our audio i have it set to pc speaker if you are on a console you can set it to i want to say there's like a a console setting like so it's like con tv speaker or console setting whatever blah, blah 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 set it to that i used to rock headphones and headphone bass boost but as of lately pc speaker has been crazy if that changes i will let you guys know as soon as i find out uh, voice chat set to on last words chats definitely on prox chats on but sometimes i turn it off if like people are blaring music in the background of their house and they have like a connect mic like aids you know i would definitely uh turn that off in that match uh reduce tinnitus sounds this is huge this is the ringing you get after being flashed or concussed it's like the shell shock effect you can call it um I turn this on so I don't get the ringing. So when I'm flashed, I can still hear clearly. You might be able to get the kill just based off the audio. If you have a solid headset, you can really pinpoint where somebody is without having to see them. Hit marker sound effects. I have set to Modern Warfare. Uh, and that's it, gang. Look, those are our settings. If you're new to the channel, enjoy the content. If these helped you out at all, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, I will catch you tomorrow for another banger. Let's get a game.